September is here, and that represents a shift in not only the seasons, but also in the real estate market. Hey guys, my name is David Brook. I'm the team leader for Brook Team at eXp, and this is the September real estate market update. Over the last several months, we've started to see prices not only take a little bit of a cool, but we've also seen inventory start to pick up. Why is this? Well, in the last few market updates, we've talked about the election, how that seems to have an effect over the last 11 elections on prices. We see prices typically decline between somewhere 5% and even 15% in some of the areas that we service in Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Florida. However, now we're starting to see even more declination in prices and an increase in inventory. Now, why is this? Well, right now we're getting to the end of the summer season. And as that begins to happen, families begin to shift their buying power towards either smaller homes for first time home buyers and away from those typical larger family homes. This appears to be a declination in prices as those more expensive larger family homes are not selling as frequently as smaller first time home buyer properties. This appears to look like a declination in prices. Now also, we start to see the properties that were improperly priced over the summer months continue to remain on the market, and we're now seeing about a third of properties out there see price adjustments. If you've been a buyer in the market, you've been exhausted by the prospect of trying to secure a home because you've offered on properties and either were outbid by other buyers, this represents an amazing opportunity. But it won't last long, and here's why. In the coming weeks, we're likely to see the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell meet once again in the middle of September in order to announce federal interest rate cuts, which are likely to affect mortgage rates in subsequent weeks and months. Now, currently, the market for mortgages already has many of these rates baked into the prices, meaning we already have reductions in mortgage rates that have been happening over the last couple of months. If you remember recent market updates, you've seen rates dwindle from even in the eights all the way down to currently you can get a 30 year mortgage in the low sixes and below. Now, how is this all possible? Well, as inflation has begun to come down, we've started to see mortgage rates also follow suit. This is a great time for me to note that if you need more information like this, if you're a buyer or a seller, or even if you're a real estate agent looking for information about the real estate market, to go ahead and subscribe to our channel now for more market updates. Now, what does this mean moving forward for sellers? Well, sellers are in a position where they need to be highly cognizant of how they're pricing their homes. We're starting to see, like I said before, over a third of properties starting to see price adjustments. This means that it's very prudent for sellers to meet with real estate agents like those on the Brook team who are highly qualified and trained on how to price during the shifting seasons and markets. We're likely also to see these interest rates start to drop in the coming months, which are gonna bring new buyers back into the market. We're preparing for an extremely busy spring in 2025, and if you've considered selling your home over the next few months and into next year, we'd encourage that to start that conversation now with you rather than later, as competition is highly likely to peak. As we look towards the future, we're excited in the coming weeks and months to host community events like our Pi event that we host in Southington, Connecticut. If you are a past client of ours, we'd love to invite you to our client appreciation events. Stay tuned in our emails for more information. Now, here are the numbers for what's happening in the states that we service at Brook Team, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and in Florida.